This turbo setup is for an early Evo looking for over a thousand horsepower while retaining AC. Uh, one of the challenges with the early Evo versus a 1G or 2G DSM is there's much less room between the engine and the radiator. So everything has to be tucked, especially close to the engine, um, which was a challenge because this 6870 next gen uses the larger housing options, particularly this turbine housing, the V-band TH4V um, is quite large. Uh, we did tuck everything as close as possible, um, actually close enough where you should be able to fit a factory radiator, um, but everything would be so close it would be hard to work on. So they are going with a half radiator, um, which ends up about here. Um, and that's why this additional wastegate is tucked back like it is. This setup uses two wastegates for extra low boost control when they want to turn it down on the street or use pump gas. Um, they are also both recirculated back into the exhaust. Um, you can see this one for packaging routes behind everything, um, routes between the water pipe, um, turbine housing, and the runners, and then back into the three and a half inch exhaust. Um, same with this one, um, both with a nice angle of entry. Um, to minimize any disturbance into the main exhaust. They're using a relocated oil filter, so no problems there. Um, the alternator, though, cannot be relocated since it would go where the AC compressor is. You can see it is fairly close. They'll be using some heat shielding there, which is a much better compromise than compromising the bend off the turbo, especially for the power levels they're looking to make. A closer look on the bench with some routing and clearances. Maybe a little easier to see. And then from the back side, uh, routes around everything, back into the exhaust, also removing the V-band outlet clamp and everything holds in place just from the recirculated wastegate provisions and the inside of the exhaust.